Hi everyone, and welcome to Merck's Mountain. Today we're gonna to be looking at a really simple script. It's gonna be called Turn. When world is started, we're gonna create a new vector. I'm gonna call that origin position. And then we're gonna create a new rotation, which will be our origin rotation. And then at the beginning of the world, we're gonna grab two set two values, and we're gonna set our original position and original rotation. If you go down to your operators and scroll down, grab position, of object and rotation of object. And then we're gonna do that on the values tab, grab self. So we're getting our self's current original position and original rotation. Now we have two objects we're working with today. We have a baseball that collides with a bat and we have a football that leaves a player's hand. So if we go to our events tab, we're gonna run both of these. We're going to grab when object is released by player. And we're also gonna grab when object collides with an object. And so what we're gonna do is when the football is released and when the baseball collides with the baseball bat, we're going to send an event to self with delay. So we're gonna go send event with delay on both of these. And we'll create a variable so that you can adjust this for each object. So if we wanna make the football longer than the baseball, that's an option. We'll create a new number variable called delay. And I'm gonna set it to default at five seconds. And so we'll drag that in on the number time. And so we're gonna send, and my event's fine, we don't need to go in with any complex naming today. And then when my event is received, what we're gonna do is move to and rotate to those original rotation and original position on self. Now what we need to do in here is first stop these from moving because they're gonna be in motion, the baseball's gonna be moving, the football's gonna be moving. And so we wanna go to our motion tab and grab disable object physical motion and then re-enable it after it's been moved to the next position. We've got two baseballs. And so the first thing we wanna do is go to our attributes tab and label this slugger slugger. So now that we've added this tag, we can now get collision events from it. Then if we come down to our more tab, we can grab collision events from objects tagged slugger and now that we've set it up to have collision events from objects tag slugger, that will send an event to a script. So we gotta attach the script, which we've named return. And so now that we've attached the return script, we can set the delay from inside of each baseball. And so I'm gonna leave it with the default of five seconds. So we grab our baseball. Oh, we'll grab our other baseball. And we should notice that when it's let go, it returns up here as well, because it's running the same script as the football. And so now that it's run off into the distance, in a second it's gonna appear right back here on the table. So, pretty neat. Yeah, that's but, awesome. Now one thing we do sh need to do that I just remembered is when the object is re-grabbed, we need to cancel sending the event. When object is grabbed by player, we need to cancel sending event with delay, and this will prevent it from despawning when it's held in someone's hand. And so we're gonna cancel sending my event and then when it's released again, it'll resend my event through. So I think that's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and I'm learning how you, when you do one thing, you always have to think about the opposite reaction yes. and write that into it as well, or else it's gonna be broken. <laughs> exactly, and sometimes I forget too. I mean, I'm not infallible, so it's nice that we can play test it so quickly and find these issues. So let's go apply this to our football and see how that works. So we're just gonna quickly attach script return and theoretically, we don't need to do anything else other than attaching the return script. And so if there's any other objects that you want to have always return to a position, you can use the same return script. Like I saw you had some backpacks. If you made them attachable, when the player is done with that, you could have them respond back to the, the TP. We'll see who gets one in first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I see, got it. It's you still had time to get so it now, without it, and then it'll come back here if you don't get it. So in a couple seconds. Yeah. Boom. Oh my goodness, two in a row. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, great job here in this world, Merc. I really, I really Thanks, like man. it. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. As you can see, it's a relatively simple code. And then just again, to show you the variables, we have the vector and the rotation, as well as a number for our delay. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.